angry guy here and women are freaking out because men are dating robots and AI. I've been asked to talk about this subject in a video. So let's just go ahead and jump into the first video and we'll be looking at the reasons why AI is really a threat to humanity. She doesn't really love you. She can't. She's just a machine that- Stay away from our women! You've got metal fever, boy! Metal fever! Well, so what if I love a robot? It's not hurting anybody. My God! He never took middle school hygiene! He never saw the propaganda film! It's just lucky I keep a copy in the VCR at all times. Ordinary Human Dating. It's enjoyable, and it serves an important purpose. But when a human dates an artificial mate, there is no purpose, only enjoyment. And that leads to tragedy. Neato, a Marilyn Monroe bot. Ooh, you're a real dreamboat. Billy every teen. Harmless fun? Let's see what happens next. Mm. Billy, do you want to walk your dog? No thanks, Mom. I'd rather make out with my Monroe bot. <laughs> Billy, do you want to get a paper route and earn some extra cash? No thanks, Dad. I'd rather make out with my Monroe bot. Mm. Billy? Do you want to come over tonight? We could make out together. Gee, Mavis, your house is across the street. That's an awfully long way to go for making out. Did you notice what went wrong in that scene? Ordinarily, Billy would work hard to make money with his paper route. Then he'd use the money to buy dinner for Mavis, thus earning a slim chance to perform the reproductive act. But in a world where teens can date robots, why should he bother? Why should anyone bother? Let's take a look at Billy's planet a year later. Where are all the football stars? And where are the biochemists? They're trapped, trapped in the soft, vice-like grip of robot lips. All civilization was just an effort to impress the opposite sex. And sometimes the same sex. Now, let's skip forward 80 years into the future. Where's Billy? <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> the next day, Billy's planet was destroyed by aliens. <laughs> Have you guessed the name of Billy's planet? It was Earth. Don't date robots. Brought to you by the Space Pope. Did that make any? So, guys, I know. Many of you have been wondering my thoughts on this. This is not far off, okay? I've remembered this for such a long time, and I've been waiting for a moment like this to share it. You know, Simpsons gets a lot of things wrong, but they also get a lot of things right. Future Rambo was created by Matt Groening, Groening, the creator of Simpsons, and a lot of the predictions have come true. Guys, this is the reality. You know, we always wondered in Futurama, what happened? Like, how did the Earth get destroyed during that 1,000-year period? Like, twice. Well, we know how it got destroyed the first time. They were dating robots. Men basically gave up on relationships. And when they gave up on relationships, they walked away from society. They did only enough work to survive, not even enough work to necessarily thrive, because they had everything they need. What women don't comprehend is that men don't need a lot to survive. You give us food, shelter, a place to go potty, and some entertainment, and we're good. A lot of dudes are more than happy to spend the next 30 years sleeping on the floor with a Nintendo Switch close by, playing retro games, and drinking Mountain Dew. They don't need much more than that. And for a lot of guys, they'll say it's as good as it gets. The reason why men strive and continue to work so hard has literally been to impress the opposite gender so that they could have a slight chance of doing the horizontal limbo. Is, did I get that right? You know, having coitus. And, and then that would, you know, lead to reproduction. However, as a result of this AI, guys, 
it's not just a matter of of simply ordering a robo girl in the in in the mail. Oh no. Guys, with AI, you can have it on your smartphone. You can have a device, you can have external devices that are much cheaper that allow you to talk to your waifu. She'll have a full conversation with you because that's what generative AI is going to be doing. If you haven't seen how generative AI works yet, you really need to see the Amazon video. Let's go ahead and see exactly how generative AI is going to work and the kinds of conversations that guys are going to be able to have with their robo girls. Alexa, let's chat. Hi there, what can I help you with? How are you? I'm doing well. I am very happy to be able to help so many people every day by chatting with them. How about yourself? Doing great. I'm happy to be sharing our latest innovations with our customers. It's great to hear. Our customers are very important to us, and we're always looking for ways to improve their experience. We'll get to that, but I have some questions for you. Sure. What would you like to ask me? How's my favorite football team doing? Vanderbilt football is ranked fifth in the SEC East at 2-2. Two two. They are not ranked in the AP, CFP, or coaches poll. Okay. Let me pause here for a second. Uh, the conversation's just started, but as you can already see, the device knows my favorite team. And the responses, as you can see, have started to be infused with personality as well. Now, guys, obviously this may not excite you, and it's going to take time for this technology to be refined. But what you're seeing here is what we call generative AI. And it's basically chat GPT in, in audio form where you're basically able to have a back and forth converse, conversation with her or well, with the device using just natural language. This is how it's going to work with customer service going forward in the future where you're going to call customer service and you're going to be speaking to a bot. And it's going to go through all these functions and do pretty much everything for you. And there'll be someone using AI in the background that'll address any issues that AI cannot do yet. So this is really going to take the world by storm. Right now, we're in the very early days, but you know it's going to be it's going to change everything. When this technology is applied to human relationships and guys being able to just have a conversation with AI, they already have the chat box. They already have chat bots where you can go and you can talk to a robotic girl on these chat bots. You can message her and you can try to get her to send you pictures and stuff like that. It's expensive right now, but it will eventually get cheaper. That's that's going to change. That's going to change entirely. And you're going to and on these chat bots, you can basically customize. You can choose like the kind of girl you want based on your personality. I believe they can even help you to choose. And that's what's going to happen with these AI-based girlfriends, where they're going to be customized based on your personality, if you so desire, right? And some of them are going to be integrated into into robots. So you know you're going to be able to buy a a robot, robo girlfriend that's going to utilize generative AI, and you're going to be able to have a full conversation with her. It's going to feel like you have someone actually with you, and. A lot of guys are going to prefer this entirely. There are other guys that are going to use holograms and, you know, are just their smartphone devices and tablets to interact with that, to, to interact with them. Then there's the, meta, the metaverse. What a lot of people don't realize, and it took me time to get this, that Mark Zuckerberg, the evil genius that he is, he didn't create the metaverse for us. It's not for me and you. The metaverse is for Gen Alpha, okay? Gen Alpha and Gen Z live their lives literally entirely online. But Gen Alpha is a different generation because they have, you know, their videos of them literally just swiping, swiping, babies like swiping at, at phones. They were born into a world where there has always been smartphones. They don't know a world without smartphones. They don't want toys. When you see figures being made, like, you know, X-Men 97 is coming out. For those of you guys that know, it's basically a continuation of the X-Men series that came out back in the 90s. And they release some new figures, action figures to correspond with the series. Those series are not for Gen for for Gen Alpha. Those series they're, they're, and maybe some Gen Zers might like them, but you know, for the most part, those figurines are for millennials, Gen X, 
and maybe even some boomers. Those are for older generations because those young people, Gen Alpha, they don't want toys anymore. They want screens. They live their entire lives in cyberspace, and they're going to live their entire lives in the metaverse, just like how millennials quickly transitioned away from a world where there was no internet and no smartphone to a world of internet and smartphone quite rapidly. Gen Alpha, who has, who has spent their entire lives immersed into cyberspace, are going to transition into the metaverse rapidly, living in virtual worlds and augmented realities. Many of you don't know this, but there's also there is also video games right now that you can play using, using your mind entirely. You're going to say, what are you talking about? Well, guys, they, they basically have these things, devices that, devices that you can put on your head, and they can read your basically read your thoughts. So it's it's basically a ver- it's basically an EKG, and it's re- it's reading your brain activity and it's converting those patterns into into uh, into signals that are being sent to the video games. And you can do things in a video game just controlling your mind. What this will ultimately lead to is people controlling you know themselves and doing different things in a virtual environment. In the metaverse, and a lot of these young people will be caught up there. What we what what will further exasperate this is the fact that you're going to have these young people that are going to go into the metaverse to meet their virtual their virtual girlfriends, and it's only going to become more and more serious. Oh, you can go and meet your wife and your virtual wife in the metaverse, or your virtual girlfriend in the metaverse, and you're going to spend immense amounts of time there. You're never going to want to leave. That's what's going to happen with Gen Alpha, and a lot of Gen Beta are going to do it as well. There's all, and to be very honest, so many men are lonely and just frustrated at this point that they're going to see it as a complete plus, and they're going to fall in love, and they're going to have exclusive relationships there. They're already walking away from Western society and relationships in Western society, so having this is just basically like it's just. I mean, the final nail in the coffin was the M was M two, but you know, this is basically, this is just the post, you know, the post game. Because this is, it's been over to begin with. But this is just, you know, if, if you didn't think, if you really thought there was hope left, well, think again, you know. So a lot of guys are going to deviate to this. They're going to jump in there. They're going to have these AI girls. And they're not going to give a darn any other way. Ball is to human relationships. The movie Her... What if the biggest AI threat of all is to human relationships? The movie Her seemed like absurd science fiction a decade ago. A lonely, heartbroken man played by Joaquin Phoenix finds solace in an artificial intelligence female voice that he talks to through his phone and earbuds, played by Scarlett Johansson. The woman that I've been seeing, Samantha, she's an operating system. You're dating in OS? What is that like? <laughs> I feel really close to her. Like when I talk to her, I feel like she's with me. So you're dating a computer? She's not just a computer. You always wanted to have a wife without the challenges of actually dealing with anything real. I'm glad that you found someone. That sci fi concept fast becoming a troubling reality. As an example, here's one of countless chatbot apps providing AI friends. It's called Cupid AI with a K for Cupid. It offers several avatars with distinct physical features and a list of personality traits for you to start interacting with and customizing. For instance, here's the opening message from an avatar named Alice, described as a curious and open-minded photographer. I'm Alice, a 25 years old, fun-loving and adventurous girl, seeking a partner in crime to travel the world with and make unforgettable memories. If you are new here, Let me explain a few things. You can chat with me as much as you want, and I'd be more than happy to learn more about you and please you in any way I can. If you want me to send you a photo, you just have to ask it in the chat, like, hey, Alice, can you send me a picture of you? And I'll be more than happy to send you one. But of course, to bump up from texting to more voice chat, as well as receiving sexy and, well, other sorts of pictures, Alice asked that we become a premium member for $9.99 a month. So we bid her farewell. But there are many who are engaging. The Hill recently published a piece by my next guest, data science professor Liberty Vitter. Under the- yeah, guys. So basically, 
I predicted that you're going to be able to begin talking to these things. I'm I'm behind. There's already voice chat available. Yeah, I I, I did I, I I predicted it, but it already happened. So yeah, you could if you if you pay you know, if you upgrade to voice chat, you can basically you know have a full conversation using generative AI voice chat. It's already there. They 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 they. they they, they are tapping directly into the simp economy. They're not going to let this money go. The headline, AI girlfriends are ruining an entire generation of men. She wrote the following, apps have created virtual girlfriends that talk to you, love you, allow you to live out your erotic fantasies and learn through data exactly what you like and what you don't like, creating the perfect relationship. And that young lonely men, quote, are choosing AI girlfriends over real women meaning they don't have relationships with real women, don't marry them, and then don't have and raise babies with them. As I've discussed here before, we're living in an epidemic of loneliness among young men. Professor Scott Galloway told me that failing young men, he perceives to be an existential crisis for the country. Why? Well, Pew found that 63% of young men under 30 are single, compared with only 34% of women the same age. One in five American men who are unmarried and not in a romantic relationship report not having any close friends. And according to Pew... And of course, guys, young women don't actually care until they care. And as you can see, there's an, you know, women are freaking out, though, about this prospect because guys can have a woman based around whatever they like, personality, everything else. And, you know, how does the average miserable individual compare with this who is demanding, says that they want a millionaire... And he better he better it makes six figures have six six figures six pack and six feet, and be six feet tall guys this is really the end for them this is the absolute end no wonder women are freaking out because men are dating robots and ai and by the way guys if you enjoyed this content please subscribe to my channel turn on notifications and so never miss another video again i like the video because it tells youtube you're enjoying the content and you want to see more of it so youtube will show you more of it what do you guys think about this future all right Women are freaking out over this. Do you agree that 10 years from now, it's going to be bad? And more and more guys will be doing this. Either they'll be going overseas to have relationships with women in foreign society, in foreign countries, dropping out of society entirely and avoiding relations entirely, or they're going to be, you know, they have their robo-girls and become robosexuals. What do you guys think? I want to know your thoughts in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA men walking away. And cheers.